In this video, we'll make a mesh model with photogrammetry, that is, by taking pictures of it. Here we have a glass head. It's very shiny, and shiny objects don't photograph well, so they need to be covered, and you can use tape or water-based paint, or as what I've done, cover it with flour. You also need to put it on a contrasting background. I've used birthday party wrapping paper here. Take photographs of the object by walking 360 degrees around it at two different levels. Take the photographs every 30 degrees. You can use your smartphone or a DSL camera. The higher quality the camera, the better the photos and the better the resulting capture. Once you get the photo set, you need to examine all the photos to make sure that they are consistently lit and crisp and clear. Discard any fuzzy, overexposed, or underexposed pictures. Then open Recap Photo and upload the photo set. Click Create and then name the file and click Start. In the lower left hand corner you can see that the model is processing. This may take 20 to 30 minutes. Now click that graphic in the lower right of the larger graphic to go into the editing space. You can see the head was brought in with a lot of background that was on the photos. To remove the background, click on Edit and Slice. Make sure that Fill is chosen and then find a slice location where you can remove most of the background. Notice how the bottom of the head has been filled, that is closed. So let's select, I'm clicking on window selection here, let's select it and then hit the delete key to get rid of the remaining background. The model is textured and we want to see the mesh. So click on visualization and then the mesh icon and you can see it's very dense. So we need to reduce it to make this importable into another program. It can take some trial and error to pick a number that works for you, but make sure that you do check best geometry and that will help preserve the shape. Now click Decimate All, and there's the decimated model. And if that works for you, it looks good to me, click on Export, and then choose Export as STL, and click Export. Now we can import this into another program.